morning, good afternoon, or good evening, uh, whatever the case may be. Uh, anyway, all my crafty friends out there, today is Monday, so that means embroidery Monday. Um, today I am showing you the Lazy Daisy. I do believe that's what the stitch name is. As you can see, I poked in on here. This is what the stitches look like right there. And that's another French knot, which I showed you last week. Um, but this is what the stitch looks like. Um, you pull up your needle and you kind of put it back in and kind of get to the end. And here is the the embroidery thread. And you wrap it around, wrap it around your needle like so. You just pull it through. It's hard to do hold the camera and do this at the same time. And then you make sure you want to poke back through right there to lock it in place. Let's do another one. Pull up right there. And I want to go back in about the same spot and pull up. I want to go. I want to go back, put the needle back through right up there at the end of the daisy bloom. Not too far. There. That'll work. And then you just take the thread, wrap it around your needle at the end where you pulled up at. It's wrapped around the needle, pull through. I hope you can see without having my hand in the way. And then you lock it in by doing that. And that is the Lazy Daisy stitch. By doing the Lazy Daisy stitch, as you can tell, you could do leaves as well besides the daisy. Um, but this stitch is similar to the one I want to show you next week, which is called the Chain Stitch, if I remember to show you that one. Um, but... Though those are similar, um, just pull this through. I had to get me some more thread. Just pull it like that. And lock it in. Hard to do one-handed. So, since I'm working on the horse, you know what that means. The other one is done, so let me go show you that. Sorry, I had to move the camera a different way around so you could see the pretty quilt top. It is done. There's the little boy in his sock. Water buckets little boy with a fishing pole and his fish and his puppy dog and he get a cute so I don't know what kind of fabric I need to back this with so we need to go on a quilt backing adventure a material uh, adventure so stay tuned for that I might do it this week but then again I might not it all depends on uh, what's going on in the week? So isn't that adorable? So that's it for today. So be sure and stay crafty and have a very blessed crafty day.